This is an absolutely classic composition by Parr. Um, it dates from 1968, and it's made in felt tip pen, which was introduced uh, to Kate Dorsey's artists in 1967, the year prior to this drawing. In it, we have his classic uh, hunter form, always a man, always seen in profile, always advancing from the right side of the paper to the left, often holding a rifle, but not necessarily. Here we have his dog, and here we have three um, caribou. There's absolutely no indication given of the landscape setting, the time of day, the weather, the season. So it's, it's a very distilled and in a way very abstracted uh, view of the hunt, which is absolutely typical for Parr. In 1967, um, Terry Ryan, who was working uh, with the artists in Kate Dorset at the time, was always trying to introduce new materials and media to the artists. So they brought in felt to pen at this time, and, and Parr really took to the new color. He'd already been working with colored pencils, but he very much enjoyed um, working with the new color. The, the problem with these is that the colors can be quite fugitive, so they don't do well under light, and they can fade. So we have to be very careful when exhibiting these drawings to limit their exposure. So this one won't be shown again uh, for a long time, and it will be hidden safely away in our storage. It's interesting to see because more than his work in other media, you can really see the work of, of the line in this, and the, the, the very frenetic and um, energetic um, strokes of the, of the felt tip pen. So it really reveals, and that's something, of course, a key part of drawing, that it very much reveals the artist's hand and kind of the move, their movement of their hand, but also their thoughts and the way that um, their thoughts are animated. Um, the importance of this composition to par was acknowledged when a print based on this kind of drawing was reproduced on a stamp in 1977. It was called Hunters of Old. It's kind of a classic work by Parr, a classic composition of his, and also, I guess, deemed at the time in 1977 to be a representative example of the hunt uh, uh, for uh, Cape Dorset Inuit in the 1970s, I guess, at the time.